Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Snolly. Welcome to a new weekend vlog. This weekend, Ryan and I are doing a little staycation in downtown Austin. They're hosting like a media stay and I'm posting about them on Instagram. So I thought it'd be the perfect weekend to vlog since we'll be downtown, probably doing a lot of awesome things. And we have a dinner reservation with a couple of our friends tonight. So I thought I'd just pick up the camera and start vlogging now. And I'm actually headed to a very special shoot. I'm shooting a proposal at Commodore Perry, which I've never been to. To, but it is this like bougie resort I don't even know what it is I just found out that you can be a member of this like place and I mean obviously I would never be able to afford it because like it is so bougie and apparently you have to pay three thousand dollars just to take photos here but someone that they know is like a member so I guess they didn't have to pay the fee but it is gonna be so pretty and I'm so excited so I'm gonna pack up my camera bag, head out there. I really wanna come back home, clean up the whole house so we can have it spotless. What room? No, she thinks she's having a room. In the library. So she knows. I see what she's sure? just, you know. Oh my god. Oh my Holy gosh. She's so pretty. <laughs> They're so pretty. You did such a good job. They should have good. I got really lucky. Talk about what we have in this bouquet. Um, we've got some gorgeous cappuccino roses, some white lilacs, beautiful spirea, their sweet pea, lysanthus. Wow. Didn't even know all those names existed. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. Actually. You guys need florals in Austin, you know who to hit up. Maggie! Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's 10.47 and I think she's coming at 11 and this place is stunning. I'm so excited for the photos. back home from shooting the proposal. It was so fun and I feel like I was definitely shaking like so badly during the proposal. So I know I'm gonna have to straighten out a lot of those photos. I still need to clean the whole house up and finish a vlog before 4 p.m. because that's our check-in time. So I'm gonna hustle and get it done and then we can have a relaxing staycation in Austin. Got my bag packed. You ready? Yeah, I'm waiting on you. Let's go. So this is what it looks like to live downtown. This is so cool. Whoa! Can you even imagine if this was, I know, it's kind of like scary, but could you imagine if this was your view every single day? I could not. This view behind me looks so cool. So let's give you guys a hotel room tour. We are headed to Zanzibar. <laughs> we're gonna have some cocktails and then we're gonna meet our friends at Taverna for dinner. Oh, this is my fit. Saying all the plants are covered because of the freeze. We got some duck egg rolls apparently and some pork barbecue sliders, it looks so freaking good. I changed my top to a long sleeve top just so I could have an extra layer because it is getting quite cold outside. We're gonna walk over to Taverna, I think it's like a seven minute walk, and then meet our friends. So 
morning, happy Sunday. We are on a quest to find some breakfast. It is 10.41 a.m. and I feel like I should have definitely made a reservation somewhere because we knew we were gonna be downtown. We're gonna try to go to this bakery I've had on my bucket list for so long. It's called Word of Mouth Bakery. On my For You page, there was like this baker that always said that his baked goods would be at Word of Mouth Bakery and they looked so good. So hopefully they're there, but I don't even know because I think he switches it up like every single time. This is also after she said, I don't want any pastries or anything. Yes, I did say that, but, but when she I feel like, it, but <laughs> she says it's different. no, but I mean, it has been on my bucket list for a while. I definitely wanted something a little bit more fresh this morning, but the places with pastries are more like fast. And if we wanted something fresh, we would have had to wait. And I know you don't like to wait. So I'm going to eat pastries for you. <laughs> You're joking. Inside. Closed on weekends? No! No! Uh, it's so annoying. I don't know. I just don't think that these people are not going to be open on a freaking Sunday. That's when you get baked goods, isn't it? I'm sad. All right, well. On to the next. Plan B, we're gonna go to 24 Diner, which has also been on my bucket list for a while. They just said that they had a 15 minute wait and it hasn't been too busy yet, but it's about to get really busy. But good thing, it's like literally down the street. So I think we found our winner. Literally two minutes ago, I went in to put our name down and I just got the text that it was ready. And they said it would be a 20 minute wait. So we've been like kind of lucky with this where they're like, it's oh, it's like us. a 37, <laughs> yeah also that but i think they definitely want to have like wiggle time you know just in case just got done eating at 24 diner and i rate it like a five out of ten uh, my chicken biscuit was better than her chicken waffles. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it had something to do with like the syrup. It was like I'm really better. not I'm good. Better. Like the syrup was like s not syrupy. <laughs> Why was I gonna say that? It wasn't thick and it just like had a weird taste. But anyways, we are now going to West Elm because I am still on the hunt for some good like throw pillows for our bed. So hopefully we can find some in West Elm, but I've been meaning to like go to all these like home stores for a while. So. Can't believe there's still like ice and snow on the ground. I love the texture of these faces right here. Not loving it. I feel like they're also not big enough for what I want. Kind of like this texture, but I don't know if it's like too much going on. So we're at my home course, Morris Williams. Mm -hmm. Driving range that I always go to. Mm -hmm. I here with Sonali last week. Yeah. So we're back. Yeah, we ended up here because it was such a nice day and I was like, you know what? We don't really have anything else to do, so I think we're just gonna hit some balls on the driving range. It's perfect. It's really perfect. <laughs> How'd you do? Really good at the beginning. Kinda lost it at the end, got a little tired. Got sloppy, you know? Yeah. I Same hit like two good balls out of like 10. You got one camera. <laughs> yeah. I'm probably gonna only post the good ones though, you know? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I'm feeling a little parched, so I thought it'd be fun to go to Tiny's Milk and Cookies and get a lemonade because their mint lemonade is so good. And I don't know why I haven't been even. I, oh, <gasps> shit. One thing I didn't mention is that we're under a water boil notice or something. It happened last night, so during dinner he was like, so we don't have any more water to give you guys so you can like purchase you know water bottles i guess so that's an issue going on right now so maybe they don't even have lemonade that would really suck because i really want it right now um so maybe i'll just call ahead of time it's on the west side and there's so many beautiful homes over there so ryan and i love to go just like drive through and look at all of them even though we cannot afford any of those houses Service ice, but at least we got my lemonade. For cookies, we got chocolate chip and the ice. Oh, wait, did they tape it? Oh, wait. Oh, I guess we'll show you guys later. Wow. Oh, major truck. Very cute. Yummy. Okay. Splitsies. Dare I say these are better than Tiff's treats? 
No. This tips is warm. But you get in the microwave for like a second, and these would be perfect. Yeah, I have a microwave. Well, I don't think they need a microwave. Mukbang. <laughs> Honestly, next time we need chocolate chip cookies, we're coming here. I feel like tips juice is like too sweet. Or like, I don't know. It's just not it. It's pretty yummy too. Chocolate chip's better, <laughs> but still good. Is it better than crumble? I tried crumble recently and like... I feel like the day after it was like better. I don't know why, but it wasn't like amazing. We came back to the hotel room because we were kind of pooped. We've been all over Austin today and now we are headed to dinner. We're actually eating in the hotel. We're gonna eat at Corinne and that's also been on my bucket list. So we're hitting a lot of like bucket list things today. So I'm really excited to cross all of them off. We've been watching golf, Pebble Beach, right Ryan? <laughs> my dream course. I feel like you say that about a lot of courses. No, Pebble Beach in the Masters or Augusta National Orleans. Wait, what about the Monterey, California? Is that Pebble Beach? Oh, we miss Sophie so much. She's at the pet sitter. It's definitely been a thought in my mind to go pick her up early and just go home just because I miss her so much. How do people do this with real children? Like that's just my dog, <laughs> but I just really miss her. I don't know why. product. I found my new favorite wine. I don't usually like wine, but it's called Don Hoff Riesling. So good. It's like a summery drink very sweet very <laughs> summery and it tasted like so good cold and the food was honestly so good there we got like everything we could ever have dreamed yeah, of in one meal top five for me the filet mignon yeah, the top five so good. good and then the tartare the beef tartare the bread rolls if you guys go you have to get the bread rolls it was like perfectly salted so good not just saying that because the meal was pumped but like Really, really good. I give it, I give it like an 8.9 out of 10, honestly. Maybe 9.2. I think so, yeah, for yeah. sure. Definitely a good meal. I ate too much. Yeah, we Portions, ate. <laughs> portions are pretty big, so. Yeah, portions are big. We ate a lot, and now we are ready for some sleep, probably. Like, I feel like I'm in a food coma. We're back in our room and I'm looking forward to taking off my makeup and just getting in bed because I have a very, very early shoot tomorrow morning, but you'll see it in my week of my life. I hope you guys are enjoying these week of my life. They're like my favorite to post and edit, but I'm also going to be looking for an editor soon. So if you guys know of any people that are interested, let me know. They can like DM me on Instagram. I'm probably going to post it on my Instagram stories tomorrow. I'm going to end the vlog here. We're checking out tomorrow at 11 a.m. and I'm hoping to use the gym before we leave because tomorrow is a gym day and if I don't get it done in the morning then it's literally never gonna happen but you'll also see that in my week in my life video and if you guys aren't already following me on Instagram go ahead and follow me there because you can see real-time updates a lot more fashion content Amazon faves all of that kind of stuff and I will see y'all in my next video bye